Ooh, here we are. Hello and welcome to my first episode of Feeling Vloggish. My name is Sanea, but you can go ahead and call me Z for short. And this is how I spent my Friday the 13th. I saw Getaway House on Instagram and I thought, why not and give it a shot. So I pretty much only spent one night there and just to check it out. And I definitely recommend this place. Um, it is quiet, it is peaceful, and let me tell you, like, I myself have so many thoughts in my mind, but as soon as I just stepped out and, like, inhaled that cold air, like, everything went silent. Um, unlike camping, I didn't really see the, see other people. You see their cars parked, um, there's three next to me, there's one right there on the right, you can see, and then, um, there's gonna be a second one right here on my right and then another one on my left uh, like I said I didn't really see anybody just the cars um, but yeah let's go on and check out the inside of this cute little cabin okay time to enter our getaway Is a cute little kitchenette. And there's that bed with the beautiful view. Their table. This is really lovely and so cozy. That's behind this door. The bathroom. It's a pretty decent sized shower too. Got yourself a first aid kit. Oh, that's cute. It says, when nature calls, cabins have delicate plumbing. Please only flush toilet tissue. Oh, and I like how the, they have a little bear sticker on there. There's a little note. Welcome Z, or it's hello Z, welcome to your getaway. We hope that this time in the wilderness will offer you a chance to disconnect and unwind. Take care, Lindsley. That is cute. There's a s'mores kit. Also gives you uh, spots to explore here in uh, Ottawa, Starved Rock area. Oh, look at this. Cell phone lock box. Mm, my pet put that in once we settle down. This is awesome. Got some cards, little radio, books, some storage. This kitchenette is freaking cute. I can't stop. Let's the two burners. Hot. Oh, I was gonna say there was no mirrors, but I found one. If you want some teas, hot chocolate, you know, bowls, utensils, there's a sink, trash, dustpan, and a fridge. This is cute. And an emergency floor. Two steps. Oh, reading lights as well. Awesome. All right. 
I am about to disconnect. Okay, so here I am getting ready to go outside and, you know, prepare a campfire and, and um, start, you know, cooking my vegetables. And let me show you how dark it gets outside. Just grab all my things and... Uh, This was like one of the grocery bag kind of thing where I did not want to go back inside so I tried to get everything in my hands and try to go through both of the doors but look how dark it is outside I should have started the fire earlier yes but I, I wanted to you know experience <laughs> using the lantern and um, trying to do the fire at this time. Um, but you'll notice very soon that it did not happen. So I put myself down and I get prepared and then all of a sudden when I put the lamp up and I definitely hear something. Put my camera down and went back inside. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing a Twitch channel too for gaming. It's in the process. Been wanting to do it for a while. Um, but I'll go ahead and put my gamer tags in the bottom for Switch and uh, PS4. So it's gonna be a uh, bedtime and I want to show you guys how dark it is outside again but from the point of view from the inside. Um, I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to see any stars. Um, I saw something flickering. Um, but um, could have been, you know, the reflections from the inside. But yeah, it is Mimi's time, also known as sleepy time, bedtime. So I want to say good night, y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.